A few days ago, I made a video regarding passing strong integrity on custom rooms after what Google did. But a lot of people still faced issues regarding passing strong integrity. But today, I'm going to show you the easiest trick to pass it on your device and it works fine without any problem. So make sure to watch the video till the end. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button right now. And anyways, let's get the video started. So firstly, your device must be rooted with kernel SU or Magisk. If you don't know how to root your device, I have already made a video regarding that so make sure to check it out from the i button. And yes, this is mandatory to pass strong integrity. Now if we check the current integrity status by this play integrity checker app, then it doesn't pass any of the integrity values other than this basic integrity. First thing you need to do is disable all the spoofing feature if your ROM has any of them cause last time I was on the Infinity X ROM and I disabled all the spoofing features. So if your ROM has any of them, make sure to disable it first. Now if you are using Magisk, so firstly you will need to open the Magisk app and then move into the app settings and hide the Magisk app from this option. Now once it's done, you need to reopen Magisk and from the app settings you need to enable Zygisk. Now if you are using kernel SU then you will need to flash the re module to enable Zygisk and I'll post all the file links in the description so don't worry about it. Now once it's done, you will need to download some modules one by one. So firstly you will need to download the latest play integrity fix module from their official github. After that download the tricky store module and this tricky add-on module. Now for hiding the root status, we will be downloading the Shamiko module. Now once we have downloaded all of these files, you will need to download this play integrity fix mod which is required for passing the strong integrity and obviously I have posted all the links in the description. Now after we have downloaded everything, we will need to flash them one by one. So let's open Magisk and then head over to the module section and select the modules from our internal storage. Now before flashing, if you are using kernel SU, then you will need to flash this Zygisk module before flashing all of this. But if you are a Magisk user, you can skip it. Now as we are using Magisk, so we will flash all of the other modules one by one. So let's do it. Now once we have flashed everything, just reboot the phone. A few inches later. After the phone has booted, you will need to open Magisk or Kernel SU if you are using it and then head over to the module section, then open the tricky store using this option. Now it will start installing the Kernel SU web UI. And once the installation has completed, it will open the tricky add-on so just ground the root axis. Now you will need to tap on this three dots on the top right and then tap on this select all, deselect unnecessary and then tap this set valid key box. Once you have done it, tap on this set security patch and then press the get security patch date button. So once it has fetched the latest security patch date, just press save. And moving back, you will need to tap on this play button of the play integrity fix mod. So it will automatically fetch the integrity values of the latest module and once it's done, let's now check the integrity status. So yes, it has passed strong integrity check without any problem and now if you are wondering about the banking app, so when I open this MyGeo app, it detects the root. So you don't need to worry about it, just open Magisk, enable enforce deny list and select the banking apps from here. And once you reopen the app again, it seems to work perfectly fine. So yes, that was it for today. So if you find me helpful, make sure to share this video right now. And of course, hit the like and subscribe button. And bye bye, take care.